Hi, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love so that you look beautiful and feel confident every single day. I'm really excited about the topic of today's video. I know I said that a lot, but I'm really excited about today's video because I get this question so much, especially in my private Facebook group. If you're not in that Facebook group, definitely check the description box below um, so you can join. It's free and it really is one of the best places on Facebook. So one of the questions I get a lot is about about prints. How can I tell if a print is contemporary and cool and chic or if it's frumpy and dated and matronly and all the things that we don't want? Prints can be hard. And so one of the guidelines I've given in the past, and I have done other videos on prints and I'll link them below. One of the guidelines I've given is that um, there are prints that are going to generally be pretty safe. Um, one of the safe prints, for example, is a classic stripe. Not a funky stripe with weird things going on, but a classic stripe is generally going to be a safe contemporary print. Um, most plaids, most plaids, with a couple of exceptions, are going to be pretty safe. Most animal prints, especially if they're neutral animal prints and not weird, crazy animal prints with different things going on, most of them are going to be contemporary prints. So because those types of um, either animal prints or geometric prints are generally going to be safe, I decided today we're going to dissect floral prints because floral prints are where we get lost where we lose our way and I get it because it's confusing and there are a lot of floral prints that are honestly borderline so sometimes someone will share a picture of a dress on a model or a flat shot of a dress in the Facebook group and ask me what do you think of this dress and my response is almost always well have you put it on because there are dresses that can look great on the hanger, great on a model, great in a flat shot, but we won't know if they're going to look good on you unless you put them on your body. I think the same thing applies to prints. A lot of times, a print on a piece of fabric, eh, we can take it or leave it. But when you put that print and you combine it with a clothing style, a silhouette, a shape, then that print either veers off into the direction of being contemporary and chic and cool and currently in style, or it can go in the other direction and look dated or frumpy. So a lot of times it's not just the print, it's the combination of the print and the style that can make or break a look. Okay, so one of the ways that we see this the most clearly is in bathing suits. Oh my goodness. For some reason, bathing suits aimed at a mature market tend to be covered with garish, splashy prints. So splashy prints are the first print I wanna talk about. I'm gonna cover a few different florals here. Um, and really we're talking about florals because florals are such a great illustration of um, prints that work versus prints that don't work, right? Okay, so starting with splashy florals. Splashy florals are big florals, they're colorful florals, they're florals with a lot of impact and they are, probably the trickiest of these categories to get right. And like I said, the very, the clearest way that we see this is on bathing suits. So I'm gonna show you examples of splashy prints that don't work and splashy prints that do work on bathing suits. Okay, so this first bathing suit is from the Hermosa. It's a brand that I mentioned in my bathing suits video and that I absolutely love. So this is a splashy floral print that is contemporary and beautiful and wearable and it's on a suit that is also contemporary and beautiful and wearable. Now this same print on um, one of the suits that you're about to see would look a lot less elegant, a lot less contemporary. Um, so keep that in mind. It's the combination of the print and the silhouette that really makes this work. The print on its own is beautiful, but the print with the silhouette makes this a contemporary suit. Now let's look at this next suit. This is, I don't know if it's a swimsuit or swim dress with shorts, but this print on its own would be would be bad. It's really a bad print. It's just a bad print. I hope that you can see the difference between this contemporary, the contemporary print of the Hermosa suit and then this print, which is really just designed to, it's jumbled and it's designed to confuse the eye. And basically the reason that they put these prints on bathing suits is because they know that prints can be flattering and distracting. You don't see lumps and bumps when there are prints distracting you. However, just because a print is distracting doesn't mean it's elegant or it's chic or it's elevated. And this is definitely a frumpy print on a frumpy suit. So 
would this print on the on the same silhouette as the Hermosa suit look better? Absolutely. Would it look stylish and contemporary and chic? No. Still no. So yes, it would be improved by a different silhouette, but it's never going to be the best option. Okay, so here's an example of that. So this is a square neck swimsuit. Now square neck mayo is actually a classic is, is actually a, an on-trend bathing suit silhouette this year. The square necks have been around for a while. A square neck one-piece bathing suit is a really chic option for spring and summer, but this print, even though it's on an otherwise um, contemporary suit, still makes the suit look frumpy, matronly, because it's not a contemporary floral print. So I hope you can see the difference between those two prints. Let me know in the comments what you think of this so far. Okay, so we're gonna look at splashy prints in something else. Now we're gonna look at caftans. Caftans. Um, I actually love caftans. I kind of, when I'm, well, I feel like when I'm like 95 years old, I'm gonna be like Mrs. Roper on Three's Company. Does anyone remember Mrs. Roper? She always had the like the dramatic, glamorous, like I feel like I'm going to do that. But it's not going to be, they're gonna be fabulous caftans. They're not gonna be these caftans. So the first one here is this, this is from Kate Spade, which really surprised me. I know it's designed to be a nightgown. It's the floral print v-neck caftan. Um, I know it's designed to be a nightgown. I don't care if it's, you can still have cute nightgowns. You can, I totally did a video on cute PJs and how to look cute at home. This is not cute. This is like, like a muumuu. -moo. Um, and not in a good way. Um, this is another one, this is um, from Swimsuits for All. It's the mixed print long lounger. Again, these are more designed to be loungewear. I still don't like them. They're still super, super frumpy. So these are splashy prints on frumpy, boxy silhouettes. And the combination is lethal. Like it's not, they're not cute. I don't get why, why couldn't you just have made that caftan in a solid? with like white trim, like black with white trim or blue with white trim or a stripe. It would have been, it would have looked so much chicer and more wearable, but in these prints, they are disastrous. So I'm gonna show you a good caftan. This one is a splashy print from Farm Rio. Farm Rio is going to be one of the brands I'm gonna talk about later when I talk about brands that do prints well. Now there's a lot going on. This is a splashy print. It's an over the top print. It might not be to your personal style. It definitely is to mine because they're one of my favorite brands but this is their um, forest ruffle tunic dress. I think that's the right description of this dress. Um, but it's just a beautiful ca flowy caftan and a splashy print that is very, very contemporary. So I hope you are seeing the difference between splashy prints that work and splashy prints that don't work. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple more that I absolutely love. This is an Etro dress, another brand that does prints really, really well. They're cotton print or cotton dress with desert print. Just a beautiful, beautiful, splashy print. Ricky Freeman for Terry John, this um, floral print border shirt dress. Really pretty, elegant, splashy print. So it's not that you can't do splashy prints. It's not that you can't do bold prints. It's that the bold prints have to look contemporary. Unfortunately, a lot of the contemporary prints are on higher end brands. And so if you study the brands that are more expensive and try to find those prints at a price that works with your budget, you're going to be on track. But a lot of the, the really elegant and elevated prints are, um, they start with the higher end brands like Etro and like Oscar de la Renta. So we're gonna look at a couple of those coming up. Okay, another print I wanna talk about is a tropical print. Now a tropical print, some of us think of Hawaiian shirts when we think of tropical prints, but tropical prints can go both ways, just like all of these other prints. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of tropical prints done right. Now this Lush Terrace Live-In Dress from Nick and Zoe, I am not a huge fan of all of their prints, but this is a contemporary tropical print on a contemporary silhouette. Now this tropical print on something like one of those those bad bathing suits is, is probably not gonna work as well, but on this silhouette, it works beautifully. Um, then this other dress from Saks, I think this is from Pat Bow, which is a great brand for prints. Um, that's a tropical print on a contemporary silhouette. Now, again, these tropical prints are kind of borderline. Like you could say, huh, maybe if I wore this tropical print on like a Hawaiian shirt, it would be over the top, but on these dresses, they work. So you've combined a modern print and a modern silhouette. Um, okay. Now, 
what about a tropical print that doesn't work? This swimsuit, again, swimsuits is where I find all of the examples. This swimsuit um, has a tropical print on it that is dated, that is not contemporary, and then it's combined with a silhouette in a bathing suit that is also dated and not contemporary. So tropical prints, you have to be careful. You want to find a silhouette that's really cool, really contemporary if you're gonna wear a tropical print in a modern way. Now let's talk about the next category of florals, and that's ditzy florals. Ditzy florals can be categorized by small florals that are randomly placed and scattered on a background. They are generally done in soft colors, not always, but generally done in soft colors. And um, these are, I thought that splashy prints were hard to wear. Ditzy prints might be harder to wear because the, the problem with ditzy prints right now is that we're seeing ditzy prints on very youthful styles and silhouettes. So the combination of a small, soft colored floral on a really youthful silhouette can look like we're, we're trying to wear a baby doll dress or a toddler style dress at 40 or 50 or 60. You know, so it, we have to approach them with caution. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of things that I think are adorable. And if I was younger, absolutely I would be wearing these. But some sometimes that combination of the ditzy floral with a, a very young silhouette can be very, very hard to wear. This Aqua by Aqua Bendita Rosa Liuvia mini dress. I honestly don't know that anyone over the age of 19 can wear this dress. It's stinking cute. Like it's adorable. And I totally would have worn it at a younger age, but it's a very, very youthful looking dress. Um, I love Love Shack Fancy. Love Love Shack Fancy. It's a great brand known for their very, very feminine florals and a lot of ditzy prints. But when you're combining a ditzy print with a, a style of dress like this, this is going to be really hard for anyone to wear over a certain age because it actually borders on being a little matronly with the combination of the print and the dress. Um, it's really hard to wear. Here's another one from Love Shack Fancy in a brighter pink. Same thing going on. Like um, on a 20 year old, that's adorable. On a 50 year old, I feel like it's going to look a little bit matronly. Now, if you want to wear a ditzy print and you like them, like I like them, I recommend choosing a ditzy print in a more sophisticated silhouette. So this, um, Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple of examples here. This dress, which is um, this, uh, from Soloni, which is an, a higher end brand, the Adrienne dress, it takes a ditzy print, and it's a little bit more of a sophisticated ditzy print, and it adds it to a sleeker and more modern silhouette. Not so flowy, not so roughly, not so youthful looking. And it makes it a lot easier to wear. Um, this Amanda Uprichard Nicoletta dress, this is another example of a print that on something really, really sweet could be hard to wear, but it's on kind of a sexier dress and it works because of the the combination of the print and the style. Um, this Valenti mini dress, this is a ditzy print with white, which will always make a ditzy print easier to wear. If it's just blue and white or just pink and white, it's going to be a lot easier than all the colors together, right? Um, so this one can work because um, it's the, the print is downplayed a little bit by the, the, the fact that it's blue and white and the silhouette of the dress is pretty simple. Um, and one of the easiest ways to wear a, a, this type of a print is on something sleek, like I said, like a simple top. So this Antonio Milani Carly floral print sleeveless square neck tank top. Um, you've got that print, but you've got the sleek silhouette of this top. And that makes the ditzy print a little bit easier to wear. So I have lots more examples of these. I mean, I can go on and on about these ditzy prints. Lots more examples of these in the blog post that's linked with this video. And I definitely recommend you check them out. I'm gonna show you one last example of ditzy prints that work and don't work. Now, Sarah Flint is one of my favorite brands of shoes. They make higher end, really, Really, really comfortable shoes that don't look like comfort shoes. They are beautiful and super stylish. Um, now they did a collaboration with Gracie and they have two pairs of pumps and they're they're in a kind of ditzy floral print. It looks kind of like a damask or wallpaper print almost and they're beautiful but the floral pump that's the 100 the perfect pump 100 it's a sleek pump and the sleek pump looks way better and way more modern and way more wearable in this ditzy floral print than the emma pump in the same type of print so the emma pump is 
a little bit more of a mature style. And because it's a more mature style, it's got that shorter block heel, it's got like less of a sleek silhouette. And so the Emma pump with that print on it really can kind of look like a grandma pump. Whereas similar similar prints on the perfect pump and it totally works so again we can't look at prints just on their own we've got to look at how the print and the style of the item work together to create either a contemporary look or a matronly or frumpy or dated look okay so let's move on to the next print category and I think this is my favorite print category and this is another one where you're going to want to look at some of the higher end offerings so that you can identify what these prints look like and find them in your price point so this is called the rich print or the sophisticated print these are prints where you can tell these are not mass-produced prints these are prints that are made specifically by um, labels for their collections and they look unique they're beautiful they're detailed they're intricate and they're very sophisticated so this tropicana linen midi dress from zimmerman which is one of my favorite uh, kind of really girly brands. Um, it's it's a higher end dress. It's six hundred and thirty five dollars. That's a beautiful, rich, sophisticated print. A lot of times, rich prints or sophisticated prints have black in them, but not always. So the Zimmerman dress is an example of one that does not have black in them. This is this one is from Johnny Was. Now Johnny Was, really, I feel like the last couple of years I've really started liking and appreciating their prints more. He does his own prints. Their prints are all unique to the label and their clothes are, I think they're made in LA. It's just a great label. Um, but you know, with every brand, you're going to find better options and, and not so great options. These are beautiful. The Chelsea floral print drawstring pant. That's a great, rich, sophisticated floral print. Now, Etro, I mentioned Etro again. Their floral print wide leg satin trousers. These are $1,010, very expensive, but look at that print. That is an elegant, elevated, um, beautiful print. Um, this brand Fuzzy, I'm not sure if it's pronounced Fuzzy or Fuzzy, F-U-Z-Z-I, floral print sleeveless dress, beautiful, rich, sophisticated print. So looking at going through Neiman's or Saks and looking at the higher end designer pieces, looking at the prints and training your eye to spot some of these rich and sophisticated prints can help you find them wherever you shop. Okay, now let's look at a couple of examples of print like similar items that are good and not so good. So do this, not that, okay? So this dress from Sundance Collection, the Elise Mesh Dress, if you've got boho style, this is a great choice for someone with boho style. It's not my personal favorites in terms of prints or in terms of style, but this totally works if that's your personal style. Now, if you've got that boho personal style, you may be tempted to grab this dress, the Candence tiered dress. This is actually from Johnny Was, and this is one of my don'ts from Johnny Was. Like there's just too much going on in this dress. So not only does it have this muted, fuzzy, all over kind of weird print that doesn't really quite make me happy, but then it's also got appliques on top of it. So we're looking at two different mesh dresses. One is a better choice than the other, and I'm going to put them side by side so that you can kind of see which of these, you know, you can see the difference and you can see why I think one works better than the other. Now let's talk about like a blue floral print. Now, there are good blue floral prints and there are not good blue floral prints, right? I generally th generally think blue florals are going to be a beautiful and fresh and easy choice for spring and summer. But I'm going to show you this dress. This is actually from a very contemporary brand. Um, it's called We Are Kindred, the Tallulah Floral Print Cutout Dress. The only thing that saves this dress is the cutout. But the combination of pattern and this very potentially matronly style, it's got a high neck, it's got long sleeves, it's, it, it's, it hits at an awkward length all of these like this midi dress that is very classic with a print that is very classic and borders on frumpy makes this a very hard dress for anyone over 25 to wear yes you could wear that under 25 and be all ironic about it but over 25 i think that's just going to be a hard print to wear instead i really like this um, Maline Blooms dress. It's a beautiful blue and white pattern. I love, love that. I think this is from Sundance Catalog. I think this is a great contemporary um, option in, if you're looking for that blue and white floral print. So skip that, that midi dress with that slightly dated print all over it that 
comes to here and has long sleeves and all the things and instead go for something fresh and contemporary like this um, uh, Maline Blooms dress. Okay, I'm going to show you two more prints with blue in them. This first one is from Nick and Zoe. This is their Scribble Vines shirt dress. This print just has too much going on. It just has too much going on. It's a lot going on in this print. And um, that and the combination with the, with the uh, style of the dress was just, is not super sleek, not super contemporary, makes this totally not work. Now, instead, if you love you know, that idea, but you want a more contemporary version, my favorite brand, Farm Rio, one of my very favorites, the Blue Macaw Flight Maxi Dress. Ah. Um, and this is actually less expensive than the Scribble Vines dress. Um, and it's incredible. Like that is a sophisticated print. Farm Rio is a brand that does their prints well. Their prints are all proprietary. You know, they they're, they're very exclusive to that brand and you can see the quality of the print and the, how elevated this print is compared to the previous print. Now, one thing that I think in general we all want to avoid is the trend towards patchwork prints. And I'm not talking about like patchworks on jeans or patchworks on other things, because I know that that's a big trend. And if you like that, that's fine, but a patchwork print is going to be very, very hard to wear. I'm gonna show you two examples, one that's contemporary and one that's not as contemporary. Both of them are gonna be hard to wear. So the first one is from Johnny Was. I think this is not a contemporary print and it's not a contemporary silhouette. So I don't love the combination of this shapeless dress with a patchwork print. It kind of looks like, kind of gives me a little bit homeless vibes. I don't know, I don't know, I just don't, <laughs> No, I don't love that. Now, this other patchwork print is from a brand called um, Doen, very contemporary, very hip brand for like young girls. Um, this is their Adelina dress. This looks like, you know, a 1970s, like I'm sure I had something like this back when I was a kid. And um, it's, it's definitely way more contemporary, it's still going to be hard for someone to wear over a certain age. So I would say in general, patchwork prints, you may wanna skip them entirely. Now let's talk about kind of like a bold floral print. And I'm gonna show you two examples, one that I think is way better than the other. And I hope that you can see why I love one of these over the other. So this Tadashi Shoji floral chiffon V-neck midi dress. Um, I don't love this print and I don't love this silhouette. So it's, it's, it's an okay silhouette, it's an okay print, it's not awful. It's not awful and maybe if you put that on something else it would work like maybe on a, pair, a crisp pair of shorts it could work on a cami it would totally work but this dress and this print together don't work now if you want to see a really elegant um, inspiration dress like this is very high-end and just shockingly beautiful this oscar de lorenza floral cotton zip twill zip up dress it's 24.90 yes 2490 dollars but look at that print that is perfection that is floral heaven right there it's a beautiful print it totally works and it's very very elevated looking so um, you know, I hope that you're starting to see a little bit why I make the calls that I make when you share the prints that you share in the Facebook group. Okay, I'm going to show you two examples of midi dresses in floral prints. This first one is from Shoshana. Shoshana is a higher end line. This is a $370 dreamy v-neck floral cotton midi dress. Again, this is one of those midi dresses that is borderline. The print is borderline and the style is borderline. And so because that's on the fence and potentially could look frumpy. So this is something that would need to be styled perfectly to look really contemporary. And I would say save this for the girls that are 35 and younger. Like that's, this is the kind of dress that's gonna be hard to wear after a certain age. Now, if you're looking for a more contemporary version of a floral midi dress, this is, um, I don't know who what the brand is. I'll put that in the description box below, but the floral cutout midi dress here, it's got a little tiny cutout on the side. I know that's a little shocking, but, um, and it's sleeveless. And then the pattern, so the combination of it being sleeveless and then the pattern and the little cutout um, make this a much more wearable option for somebody over the age of 35, 40. I would prefer it without the little bit of a cutout because I don't know if I can if I can um, recommend that to that many people, but if, you, if you've got the personality and the body type that that flatters absolutely go for it but you can see the difference between one of these midi floral midi dresses and the other floral midi dress now the last kind of print that i wanted to talk about is the um 
kind of lily floral print, lily Pulitzer floral print. And you know, you're seeing a lot of brands that do similar. There's Vineyard Vines, there's Lily, there's J.M. McLaughlin, McLaughlin. Um, there is um, uh, Tommy Hilfiger will sometimes do them. And this one is from um, Tommy Bahama. So you'll see those prints. I think Lily really owns the market on these. Vineyard Vines also does a decent job with them. But if you are a Lily person, go for a Lily print. There is nothing wrong with Lily prints. There are some that I prefer better than others, but that is a preppy style personality. And those prints, they really honestly, for the most part, do not date and are, are always going to look contemporary. They just are always going to be a reflection of a specific personal style. So if you've got that Southern preppy style and you love that print, go for it. But I'm gonna show you an example of um, a good and bad version of this Southern preppy floral. So this is the Isolde dress from um, Lily, and I think this is beautiful. This is a great Lily-esque print. It is a Lily print, so it's not Lily-esque, but it's a great Lily print. I think it's a great example of a Lily print. I think it's fresh, it's fun, and the combination of the pattern and the and the dress work really well together. Now, this Tommy Bahama watercolor floral front zip rash guard, this is not the best example of this print for me. It's like soft and fuzzy, and then combined with the swim skirt and zip up rash guard i'm like not feeling that at all i would say go with the lily don't go with lily inspired prints just just if you love lily just do lily you can find lily um at you know secondhand stores and thrift stores if that's your thing and just go all in on that type of print so i hope that that was helpful and that i helped you clear up some of the the confusion around wearing prints particularly floral prints i know that they are really really challenging and uh, i'm here to help you navigate the, the world of prints. Now, really quickly, I want to talk about some brands that I absolutely love and recommend for prints. So I'm just going to list them off really fast because I know I'm getting, this is getting long already, but there's a lot to talk about when it comes to prints. So some of my favorites, some of these are going to have splashy prints. Some are going to have ditzy prints. Some are going to have the rich and sophisticated prints. Some are going to have tropical florals. Um, but okay, they include Farm Rio, which I've mentioned, De Seguel, um, Love Shack Fancy, also mentioned it, Etro, Oscar de la Renta, um, Double J, La Double J, oh, love their prints, La Double J, Tori Birch, um, Pat Bow, which you saw a Pat Bow item in this video, Zimmerman, Tanya Taylor and Julie Brown, and Trina Turk are all kind of, I kind of put them in the same category, Tanya Taylor, Julie Brown, Trina Turk, mostly amazing prints. Lily Pulitzer, which we talked about, Allison Olivia, Cynthia Rowley, and Bowden. I've mentioned Bowden many times on this channel. So those are brands to look at. If you want inspiration, you want to see what good prints look like, check out the prints from those brands. And let's continue the conversation in the comments. I always love talking to you guys um, about this. I can talk about prints all day, as you can tell. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments. And if you have any questions about um, or, or confusion about anything I talked about today, don't forget before you leave, it means so much to me. If you hit the like button, let me know that you like this video, you want to see more like it, and um, hit the notification bell. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Love you, and I'll see you in the next video.